I was the editor and publisher of ARC magazine from 1980 to 1990. And around June 1990, I, I published this, the penultimate issue of ARC magazine, where, where I interviewed artists and writers who, who made comics. So what I'm going to do is I'll take you through the issue so that you can see what's inside. So this is table of contents. All right, so each issue I would start with profiles, which is basically me ringing up, telephoning, writing to different uh, writers and artists and asking them, you know, what, what they're doing at the moment. So John Bolton, he said he, uh, he painted about 10 pages of magic scripted by Neil Gaiman. So he's quarter of the way through the issue, you know, so. And this would be the same for everybody, whether it's Phil Elliott or Brendan McCarthy or Ed Pinsent or Peter Cooper. Steve Pugh, Charles Vess, etc. Here, Phil Wunslade talks about Bogwart, who is a character from his new, new idea. And this was compiled by me between March 1st and April 19th, 1990, just before we, I went to, to print. This was something unusual that I uh, included, Cable Black. This was a Spanish comic. The artist sent it to me, and so I got it translated. The lettering by Trevs Phoenix and Martin Chaplin. And um, yeah, so this was a nice strip. Lovely strip, actually. That, and the complete story is in here. It was like a punk, sci-fi, horror story. This is an interview with James Hudnall. He did Espers, um, which had been drawn by David Lloyd and John M. Burns. A um, very interesting writer, sadly has, has passed subsequently. But here you see some of his, the artwork basically, some of the sketches from Burns, Dan Brereton, Psycho. Then I did a, an interview with Jerry Robinson. I, I just bumped in. I was at San, San Diego Comic Convention and bumped into him. And I thought, oh, my goodness, I, ne I need to talk to this guy. I need to talk to him. And he very kindly agreed to uh, meet me later on in the convention. And we had a nice chat. Obviously, the creator of Joker... And um, yeah, and a great artist in his, his own right, and also had a later career as a as a political cartoonist. Really nice guy. This is an interview with Jeff Darrow, who who's just amazing. Who's great. This is around the time of um, Hard Boiled. I mean, this is amazing, isn't it? Incredible. All right. And then there's an interview with Grant Morrison. Grant was doing a lot of different projects at this time. This is, he'd just done Arkham Asylum. And these were all the projects that he was he was working on at the time. So he talks about Arkham Asylum. But this is uh, by Paul Grist, St. Swithin's Day. This is an unused idea for, an um, unpublished idea for a adventure story by, drawn by John M. Burns. His Animal Man um, materials by, uh, this is Brian Bolland Pencils. This is Grant's design, and this is Steve Yowell. 
Brenda McCarthy. Oh, there's a Kid Eternity by Duncan Fagredo. Ryan News. Dan Dare, which is great. Yeah, so this is a quite a long interview with with Grant. Then Steve Bissett and Steve Niles talk about Taboo. Uh, again, uh, I'd met both of them in previously, and uh, I met them together in San Diego where they're prom promoting Taboo. So I took the opportunity of, of sitting down with them. And, yep, there we go. Uh, and Chris Warner as well. Lovely, lovely guy. Working for Dark Horse on Predator, Black Cross, other things. Had uh, actually spent some, we went to various parties together in San Diego. He was a lovely, lovely guy. Really enjoyed his company. Stayed up very late <laughs> with him. Anyway, so that this is a nice little interview showing some of the some of the work he'd been doing. Predator, as I think, the big thing. And then at the end of the magazine, we would do reviews. I never reviewed anything. I always had people like Fiona Jerome, Nick Miller. Gordon Rennie, Malcolm Bourne, Nigel Fletcher, doing all reviews, Ed Pinsent, of everything that was out and good and bad and great and perplexing at the time. Ed the Happy Clown, Gordon Rennie does a, a, a nice review of that, Blueberry. Then at the very end, some more comics. The Suttons by Phil Elliott and The Golden Age by the late, great um, Chris Reynolds. OK, and then the back cover by Shane O'Dwyer, who'd also done the front cover of The Joker to celebrate Arkham Asylum. So that's Ark, Ark 32. I've still got a few copies of these left for £1.95 plus postage. So there's a link at the bottom if you want to purchase a copy. Copies are also available of ARC 33 um, and I'll include links at the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this flip through. If you want to, if you like this video, then please give it a like, comment if you've got any questions, share it and Please subscribe so that I can do more of these videos. See you next time.